Hello tool groupies and welcome to the Backwoods Mechanic channel. If you like tool reviews, do it yourself, how-to videos, and much more, make sure to pop the clutch on that subscribe button. If you want deal alerts and you want to see these tools in action, hop over to Instagram and click follow. <laughs> What we're reviewing here today is this Pittsburgh nine-piece hollow punch set from Harbor Freight. And I only paid about $8 for this without a coupon. It's item number 3838. Everything's here is made in China from carbon steel construction. So, it's going to be good for what it's advertised for. Punching holes and stuff. It's got precision ground flutes and cutting edges chrome plated to resist corrosion all the basic things you'll find with most tools on the market today the punch sizes you get is 3 32nd 1 8 5 30 second 3 16 1 4 5 16 3 8 7 16 and 1 half great thing about it is comes with a lifetime warranty these things get dull all you gotta do is take them back get a whole new set walk right back out the door now when you unbox them they'll come in this little flimsy case right here it's nothing much nothing special tells you right here the pittsburgh name brand nine piece hollow punch set got the model number made in china proudly stamped on it really flimsy case this isn't going to last long but it's the thought that counts i guess you flip it over here you unbutton it you can pull these things out and use them and when everything's out of the box this is what we're looking at folks this right here now these do got some rolled knurling on them the knurling itself doesn't really set up off the edges here so it's kind of just barely got knurling in it but it's one of those things that you know you're really not going to be holding these to twist them and when you do hold them you're going to be holding them about right there with your fingers maybe so it will provide just enough grip to do what these are intended to do we get a good close look at them here And then you can see it does have the die stamp size indicators on it. So it lets you know what size hole you're dealing with. Half inch, 7 sixteenths, 3 eighths, 5 sixteenths. On and on we go. Now the cutting portion of these are this right here. Give you a little bit better shot right there. I already had something down in it. It's got the precision cut edges right here. As you can see, these are what's called the flutes. They're ground flutes. And they're essentially made to where whenever you're stamping on something or you're knocking a hole in something, you lay it down like that. You strike it on top of the cap here. The cap does have a pointy tip on it. That way it'll help you kind of strike right there in the middle or around the edges. You get a good solid strike. And what that does is it cuts in to the material whether it is gasket material, rubber, you know, something similar to that. And these will cut right through it, and it will do the job they were intended to do. Now, when you get something stuck up inside those flutes from cutting those holes, you can easily knock it out. These are something a lot of people might not consider. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. It really only depends on what your job is. You know, there's different people out here that has to knock holes in stuff continuously all day and night and if you go out here and you buy some of the higher end name brands they might cost you quite a bit of money whereas you can go to harbor freight get you some coupons and you could probably buy five or ten packs of these to some of the better quality brands out here on the market but these will do the job nevertheless like i said the biggest problem is going to be what your job is are you commercial maintenance industrial maintenance you know if you're sitting in a factory where your job is to take and punch holes out of stuff all day long by hand these might not be what you need but for the wide bulk of people out here on the market these will do just fine and the reason i know that is because i've used them before initially these little things right here i didn't even know the name brand okay i didn't even know really 
what Harbor Freight was because I heard people talk about it, really didn't care for it because I had my own brands that I preferred before I ever stepped foot in the Harbor Freight. And some of the tools that I used actually come from Harbor Freight. You see, I've had a set of these that I have worked with for years. They were used when I got them, and I continued to use them over and over and over again for the jobs that I needed them for. Didn't have a bit of a problem out of them. And when they did get a little bit dull, all I did was grind down the edges until I got it all the way up to the tip of the flute right there, and then I couldn't grind no more. I mean, so I've used the piss out of these things over a long period of time. And then finally, you know, I was mentioning to somebody one day, be like, I need a new set of these. You know, and they're like, well, we'll just go down to Harbor Freight and get another set of those. And I'm like, really? That's where these come from? And he's like, yeah, dude, they're identical. And guess what? They was identical. So these are something that you could use professionally. Now, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying that these are something, if you're doing this every single day of your life, that they're going to hold up. But professional... You know, there's a bunch of different professionals out here besides the automotive world. There's all kinds of maintenance guys out here, carpenters, plumbers, HVAC. There's small engine repair, motorcycle repair, boat repair. And if you work with gaskets, if you work with rubber, you work with anything like that where you need to punch holes in stuff to custom make something, these will get the job done. Now, there's a few videos on this channel where I've worked on these Milner washers right here. Just got done fixing the bearing on this big boy right here. In behind this door, there's an airbag. Outside of that airbag, there's one of those rubber mats, and then there is a stainless steel plate. Whenever the solenoids are engaged, the air valves are engaged, it pushes. That balloon pushes that rubber mat and that stainless steel up against the steel on the inside of the washer, so it keeps it sealed from any water getting out. Now, when we fix those doors, guess what we have to do? We have to take rubber, we have to custom cut the holes to fit the doors. These are what the balloons look like. They go in behind there. All right, it's got like a, basically like a, uh, a bicycle tire tube in behind it, and then it pumps up, pushes that plate out, and there is times, as you can see there, where there's big square holes cut in this thing. All we need to do when we get these balloons is line them up because they go in between a stud. Hole punch can help with that. Right here is the rubber mat that goes on the outside of that door. It has to be customized. So when we order these from time to time, the factory might get it wrong and we might end up having to take and punch our own holes in it to get it on those doors to make it work right. There's times when you're working on small engines or air compressors or anything else in between that takes gaskets like air valves where you need to customize your own gaskets, punch your own holes. Guess what? Those hole punchers will get the job done. Now, just for demonstrative purposes here, we're going to knock some holes in things. As you can see, I've already hit one here. This is corkboard material. We're going to take the smallest one, the one eighth. You're going to set it right here. Take yourself a little ball peen hammer. Put your fingers right there on the grips. Voila, it knocks holes in it. Now, if you needed to put this around something, you could. There's that one. Now, gasket material. This is gasket material. Let's go ahead and choose us another one here. This time we will choose the 3 8 You can easily tell it's a 3 8 Put it out here where you can see it. Take it, put it on the striking cap. One good hit. Right there's the hole. As you can see, knocked a perfectly good round hole in it. It puts the material right here in the back side of it. Now, you want to get that material out when you're done. You take it, run it down the flute, and just knock it right out, depending on the material you're working with. Right there you go. Knocked it right out. Also, that balloon I was showing you. Right here is the balloon material. Okay, this is a different kind of material. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to use the 3 8 There's no holes right here, as you can see. Take it. Knocks it right out. As you can see, the hole is cut right there. I might have to strike it a secondary time because this is a little bit tougher material. And then it pulls right off here. Next on the list is going to be that rubber mat that goes to the door. This one's an old rubber mat. We didn't knock a hole in it. There's the blue material. I knocked through two different sections of that blue material, if you all noticed that. It took the first layer off, had to pull the second layer out. Same thing with the rubber here. You knock the hole in the rubber, and this is some pretty thick rubber.
right there we go it's got a brand new hole right in it so we can line it up with the bolt holes now here's how thick that rubber is that one is at least one eighth of an inch thick rubber so that is some pretty thick rubber that these knocked holes through now, whenever I went into Harbor Freight, like I said, this is something that caught my eye. I picked it up. It was eight bucks for it, if I remember correctly. Didn't have no coupon. You got a coupon, you could probably get it even cheaper than what I paid for it. But was it worth it? Hell yes. The moment that I pulled these out of their little cheap package right there, and I used them to get a job done and done right, is the moment that they paid for themselves ten times over. It was nice and simple. They ever get dull, they ever give me problems, I'll load the whole set up, take the whole set set back and then tell them I need a warranty and I will walk out the door with a brand new box. That is the perks about Harbor Freight, whether anybody likes it or not. And believe me, I respect people's opinions on the professional tool line, but Harbor Freight has its purpose in this world for professionals and do it yourselfers alike. Now, whenever I walked into Harbor Freight, like I said, I browsed around a little bit, ended up walking out with these things for right around $8. You could probably get it cheaper with a coupon, but I don't deal with that kind of stuff because I don't ever go to Harbor Freight that much. One of them's 35 miles away, the other one's 40 miles away, and it's just not worth my time driving down there when other local retailers have just as much stuff on the other tool line. Now, whenever it comes to stuff like this, you know, the price is well worth stopping by there if you had to go a little bit out of your ways if it's something specific you need. Locally, it was one of those deals where I would have to order it, I'd have to wait for it to come in, and it was going to cost me three times as much. And really, for the amount of time that I use these, they will serve their purpose. This is great for mechanic repairs, industrial repairs, any time of stuff where it involves you having to custom make something with gaskets whether it's you're working on plumbing you got gaskets on water heaters if you're working on commercial industrial water heaters you got to cut the holes in gaskets you know the bolt holes go right through there this might work for you you rebuild an air compressor you got one or two holes in a gasket that needs fixed these might do the job you need them to do everybody's got a place for the right kind of tools in your toolbox don't let people discouraging you from buying something that's going to make you some money. Buying small items like this from Harbor Freight is perfectly acceptable. If you save up and you buy items like this to get jobs done, then you can save up and buy good items that actually matter, like good diagnostic equipment, good impact guns, things like that. Now, we'll post a link for these in the description box below if you're interested in buying some. Otherwise, check out the other tool reviews that I've got in the description box. I'm someone who does a wide variety of repairs from automotive repairs to industrial commercial equipment and much more. It's one of those things, I've done this for a long time and thankfully in the downtime of our economy under this COVID-19 stuff, it's keeping me busy working for different businesses fixing industrial equipment. And you know what? If something as small as this can help me do my job, it's well worth walking into Harbor Freight. Now, do they have some of the best stuff in the world with their other tool line? I don't know. Honestly, some of the stuff I've used, it's been very few and far in between. You know, I'm practical about it. I don't really buy their stuff to depend on my job, but I do buy their stuff to try out whenever I get by there. You know, it's one of those things. You want other opinions? on tools like Pittsburgh, you're going to have to check out some other tool channels and get everybody's opinion and then go buy some tools, try them out, make the determination yourself. Otherwise, I just want to encourage some people to go buy some tools and make repairs great again by doing it yourself.